Bill in Canada, have you been censored? Bill. Okay, he hung up. Let's talk to James in Washington State. James, you're on the air. Have you been censored? Yes, I have, Alex. All right, tell us quickly. Okay, uh, it was a few years back at a public high school, and they censored you, and the reason was said calls to violence. And there are no calls to violence. How long have you been listening to this show? Uh, let's see, since around 2002, I think. And have you ever heard me call for violence? No, you never do. I say that, that whoever fires first wins. But again, calls to violence. You heard the last guy from a college, same thing. This is in these big databases they pay for to, quote, have safe surfing and were listed. I mean, but now that's not enough. Now the government is going to come in with censorship. What do you think of that, James? Uh, it's lame, man. I hate it. But I love your show. And are you going to release that book anytime soon? I heard about the answer to 1984, 1776. You know, I got behind on the book, but we are looking at publishing a paper paper that's that we send a uh, the file to people so they can print it around the country. We are gearing up and getting ready to be shut down on the Internet. All right, we're going to come back with the next hour. Continue with this and your calls. 888-201-2244. Either we all hang together or we hang separate. They are shutting down freedom on the web. They are shutting down mainline talk radio all over the world. Internet streams to mainline talk radio is being shut down. Will we stand together or will we go quietly into tyranny? Will we fall to tyranny? We'll be right back. Get ready, folks. We're live. Transmission. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Red alert, red alert, red alert. When they really start censoring in mass, and the reports are pouring in from Canada, the U.S., Australia, England, China, Italy, that we are being censored. We're going to go to Jerry and others coming up in the next segment at 6 after. Cox Communications came up years ago blocking InfoWars and PrisonPlanet.com. And when people complain, they then turn it back on. And that's the issue. If we don't boycott now, if we don't say no now, if we don't stand up now, and if we don't go against these people, they're going to win. So you threaten to pull your uh, contract for service with these companies? This is the most serious issue there is, free speech, because next comes the Second Amendment, if they get rid of the First Amendment. Free speech is paramount, ladies and gentlemen, and you buy a service, they claim they're not censoring, and they block. But now we have governments calling for blocking. And what you do is you take the Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com articles that are up there right now about censorship. You take the ones that we're putting out tomorrow morning at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, and you get them out to everybody. You post them on Facebook. You post them on MySpace. You send them out on Twitter. You, you uh, make videos on YouTube about it. Everybody stand up and say, we're not putting up with Chinese-style net censorship. The White House is now calling for it. I want to hear more testimonies, 888-201-2244. If you're in the U.S. or Canada or any of those countries I mentioned, that's what's pouring in of where you can't get to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. What does that tell you? They've used the mainstream media. They've used fake alternative media as the White House Regulations are, Cass Sunstein said, they would pose as alternative media to attack me, to attack others, because they know they've lost all credibility. They try to get us all infighting with each other. That's not working. They're getting more and more desperate to the point of they've had MSNBC and Chris Matthews people down here with some big hit piece on me coming up in April. Now, I'm standing up for my family and freedom here, folks, but my question is, are you going to stand up for your family? The real war isn't about who's going to win this football game tonight that you're so concerned about. And, and, and the destiny, it's the destiny of this republic, of this constitution, of this society. Now, again, the key here is the fact that they're now coming in with the censorship. 
the fact that they're now not just eating around the edges and beta testing this, that they're coming out in the open, means that they are getting ready to move big time. And Obama's announced he's in control of all the governors. He's announced NORTHCOM, Homeland Security, troops to be used in the U.S. They are testing to see if they can get away with this. And if we scream bloody murder and people file lawsuits and people protest, and it only makes our information against the world government that much more popular, they will back off. But they're definitely getting ready to drop the hammer right now. So, Jerry in California, who can't get through Cox and others, we're going to talk to you coming up. We've had Cox Communications over the years. We've gotten their letters. They send people saying, you can't visit this hate site. Hate site? What have we been covering here? The Bill of Rights, the Constitution, not letting offshore banks have secret meetings to run our life and run our society. We're the good guys. We're not the banks that robbed you blind. We're not the BATF shutting down gun shows without laws all over the United States. Not even, not, not just the town where I live. They don't want you to know what they're doing. And cybersecurity is 15 bases. One of them in San Antonio, mainstream news, has tried to go down there and take photos. Police come out and arrest them. This is the takeover of our society. Period. I just can't believe it's actually happening. But they're openly announcing they want to do it. We have the White House saying it. We have the British News saying it. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to get the stories we put out every day. you got to get the free videos while they're free online. Follow the Republic, Obama Deception, YouTube and Google, everywhere else. you got to get them out to everybody. you got to take this serious like it's precious because I think we're hurting them so bad, even if we protest them, they're going to incrementally shut everything down. Will we go quietly into the night? like Germany, like Russia, like China. People said it couldn't happen here, but it is happening here. We're not just getting confirmed reports and screenshots of the notices from Europe and Australia, New Zealand, Italy, England. We're getting them from Canada and the U.S. pouring in. And we need everybody to screenshot the message you're getting. Send it to showtips at infowars.com. Because we're going to do big reports throughout the week. It has now come. We have all the diversity czars, the regulations are, all of them saying they want to strict talk radio and the Internet. It's now happening. Mark Dice two weeks ago went out on the streets of San Diego. 90% of people or more he talked to said ban free speech, ban the criticism of Obama. This is what they brainwashed our country into. This is what's happening. Let's go to your phone calls. And we got a guest coming up in the next segment and a bunch of other news. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Jerry in California. Jerry, tell us about the censorship of InfoWars.com you've seen. Okay, here it is. I was watching your, I, I'm a member, I'm logged in, I'm also a veteran. Hey, uh, so I'm watching the stream here on, in Firefox and it was about, I logged in about nine after the last hour and then uh, about half past the hour. The stream had stopped, and I, so I turned on iTunes. I can still get it. I tried three, more, two more browsers: Internet Explorer and 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 uh, the other one. Uh, I don't know. So you know, but anyway, I the stream dropped, but I can still get the picture. Well, did you hear the caller from New Zealand who can't even get to Infowars.com? From that, you know, I mean, I, hey, when I get done with you, I'm going to burn the wires of Cox because I, you know, and I'm going to call tomorrow. I'm going to call customer uh, Cox. Uh, Resolution team. If anybody wants the number, I'll give it here in San Diego. Give it. I have a, okay, it's 1-800-218-1021. Jerry, God bless you. I'm going to jump. Uh, Robert in Texas, you're on the air. Oh, what's going on, man? Have you experienced censorship of getting to my websites? Absolutely. Uh, I go to a state school here in Texas. Uh, it's one that, that's actually kind of a federal fusion center for police training and stuff like that as well. Sam Houston? Yeah, yeah. And I, Well, I work there and also go to school, but you'll love this. I can't get your streaming videos and so forth, but I can get pornography. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, you can't get Alex Jones who is on over 70 AM and FM stations, who just covers the news but breaks it all down, you can't get me. Now, now we've known about universities and corporations and all of this lying about our site to do that, but now governments are doing it, 
and Obama is openly calling for it, and now we're being banned. In Notice how it's all happening simultaneously since the U.N. called for this eight days ago. Oh, absolutely. You know, what's funny is, is, and this is the scary part, last night I was out with some people who are, you know, they think they're part of the establishment deal, and, and we were talking about this whole thing, and, and you know, and I posed this, and, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of changes going on, and, and you know, most of this is, is taking away our rights. And and they were like, well, you know, we really need to kind of look at things like that for safety. And it's, I just looked at these, but my wife, of course, just went, oh, God, you know, here we go. But Yeah, 